Hello, ladies. All right, I'm gonna uh, show you some fun things with one of my very favorite sets and framelits, and that's the Tea Together set that's in our Occasions catalog, and then our Tea Time framelits that you can get free. I've had so much fun with this set, and I don't even drink tea, but I love the set. All right, I'm just gonna show you a few things and, and give you a few pointers of some things I how I did some things. First, I'm just going to show you this card right here. Anything with a framelit makes me happy. And this one really made me happy. And it's really easy. Notice I use the uh, Petal Promenade DSP, which is on celebration now. But uh, first, you have to get the framelits. That's number one. Then worry about the paper. But first, you have to get the framelits. Okay, so there's one. Here's another one with the same paper. This one, I use the um, doily framelit and put it down and used it as a stencil at the bottom. It works better than the, um, oh, I was playing with that uh, lacy, the laser cut paper. It's so fine, I couldn't get a good stencil out of it, but the, the doily framelits work great for stencils. And here's another one. Here's one with the laser paper. And then I just kind of rounded the cup with my bone folder, you know? Okay, and then I put double, uh, dimensionals in the middle so it would go stick out higher in the middle just to give it a little bit of dimension and here's when I just kind of hung the hook on or the cup on the ribbon at the top and notice this paper right here this is the back of this and I kind of inked it around the uh, edges and I'll show you that in a second all right here is my uh, cup of tea here you just pull this little thing out and all that is is folded up you know your cardstock's folded up at the bottom that's all we really did all I did on that one and here's another one just kind of positioned a little bit different on that one and then this one is using um, our little envelopes our little square four by fours or whatever those are three by threes whatever they are and I just put the tea inside the cup inside the little envelope I'll tell you the thing about the if you want your things to look good you go buy your tea and then you find a color we have that matches it <laughs> it has to be color coordinated ladies you know all right and this one is using the long little long envelopes that we have right here and oh this little cup right there pulls out real they're just really basic simple um, and easy to do here's one with the teacup stacked so you just have to cut the teacup out so you cut the plate off and then I just put a slit there and stuck my little cup in and then of course use the folder at the top and here's one where I just used I cut two teapots out and Cut one up, <laughs> glued it on top of the other one, just to give a little bit of different look. Okay, and then I love this little Mrs. Potts pot. Isn't that cute? And um, all I did on that was I took my teapot and I cut my lid off. I just took the scissors and just cut like that. So there's my top. And then cut down here a little bit and just cut across it. So it looks like this. And then I just put the little baby dimensionals back there and just put our, my little dimensionals right on top of there. So it's a Mrs. Potts pot. <laughs> Isn't it cute? So that was really fun and easy. And then also I used the laser paper on that one too. Here's another little Mrs. Potts pot out of the um, foil. Okay, I'm just going to really quick show you the easy way to do. Did you notice most of them, I just kind of put a little bit of color around the outside. I didn't color it in, and it's really fast that way to do it. And you can use the uh, back of your paper like this one, or I like to use watercolor paper because it's very forgiving. <laughs> I need things that are forgiving. Um, and I like to use the aqua painter. I tried using the uh, Stampin' Blends. And even when I use the lightest, lightest color, it's just a little too dark for me and it leaves a line. I want it to blend a little bit more. 
So I like to use the aqua painters. And I just use my, I'm gonna use the dirty one. I just use my stamp pads like this. And just, you want it really light because you can always go darker. Got that, ladies? You can always go darker. And all I do is just kind of follow the line around, just like this. It's really easy for, you know, you don't have to be artistic, anything like that. I'm just kind of like, I just went like this. And you can go back and add some more color if you want it darker, if it's like too light. Like I could go back like this if I want this a little darker, like that. And if you're using your watercolor paper, you know, you can take the ink off your paper and then just blend this, see? If you want a softer thing. And then when I do the handle, I usually do the handle a little bit darker, because I like it that way. I love aqua painters, I'm sorry, I just love aqua painters. They are just really fun and really easy to do. And like I said, you can do, I can do the same thing on this one, um, but it's not gonna be quite as forgiving because it's not, uh, you know, but yeah, it's not the watercolor paper, so it's not quite as forgiving. But you still can go down and do a little bit of blending, see? But if you play with regular paper too much, you know what happens to it. It starts beating up and peels off and looks terrible. So you don't have quite as much um, leeway when you're using the regular paper, but it works, it works too. You just don't want to play with it too much. And you know when you're doing watercolor, you can mess it up. It can be dark here and light here. Who cares? It's watercolor. That's how it's supposed to be. So it doesn't have to be perfect. That's what I love about it. I mean, you can even go over the lines and just pretend like you meant to, you know, even if you didn't. So anyway, so that's basically just what you do. You just go around like that. I had so much fun with this set. Let me tell you, it was like, put me down with an aqua painter and some watercolor paper and, and anything with framelits and I'm happy. Oh, I want to show you these. Oh yeah, thanks. These are, you know, our little boxes, our little clear boxes. Um, my tea bags were too big to go in there. I wanted to fill it up with tea bags, but you might be able to find small tea bags, but I didn't have any. So I put a little tea strainer in it for like a little gift. And I just stuck them on there with glue dots, guys. It can't get any easier than that. I put a little bit of DSP in the bottom. And then here's one that I just did with both the pots tipped like that. All right, ladies. 